we have already seen the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power n. In this expansion, if I put x equals 1, we get c0 plus c1 plus c2 until cn equals 2 to the power n. That is summation of cr where r varies from 0 to n is equals to 2 to the power n. But what if I want to sum the series say 1 times nc1 plus 2 times nc2 plus 3 times nc3 and so on until n times ncm or in other words the sum of the series summation r c r are varying from 1 to n. We will be dealing with such summations in this section. Now there are two ways we can find out this sum. The first method comprises of using the formula r times n c r equals n times n minus 1 c r minus 1. Hence using this formula I can write summation r c r as summation n times n minus 1 c r minus 1. Since n is independent of r, I can take it out of the summation sign to get n times summation n minus 1 c r minus 1. Now this is the summation of binomial coefficients from 0 to n minus 1. For n terms the sum is 2 to the power n. For n minus 1 the sum would be 2 to the power n minus 1. The second method to find the sum of this series involves the use of calculus. We start with the expansion of the binomial series 1 plus x to the power n equals c0 plus c1x plus c2x square until cn xn. And then we can differentiate both these sides with respect to x. On the left hand side I get n times 1 plus x whole to the power n minus 1 and on the right hand side the coefficient c0 becomes 0 and then I get c1 plus 2 times c2x plus 3 times c3x square and so on until n times cn x to the power n minus 1. If I put x equals to 1 I get n times 2 to the power n minus 1 equals c1 plus 2 times c2 plus 3 times c3 until n times cn. Hence this is my required sum. If you are not well versed with calculus, you might have found this differentiation to be difficult. But trust me, once you have got a hang of differentiation, this is going to be child's play for you.